what is up you guys my name is madison welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new um please excuse this i'm just i'm still trying to figure out how i want to set this up um but yeah for right now just ignore that um today i'm gonna be doing the um all the books that i brought with me to college video um last time i brought a lot and it kind of overwhelmed me and coming back I was like I know I'm not gonna bring that I'm not going to be bringing that many books and I still brought more books than I would have liked to but I'm in the middle of like a million and one of them so I brought all of those and hopefully I can bring some back for spring break and it'll just kind of go down as the time goes on so starting off with all the books I'm in the middle of the first one I'm in the middle of is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace I'm on page 213 which is chapter 24 to Nathan's point of view um this is a pretty good book I'm sure you know what this book is about but if you don't it's about a um, hockey player and a figure skater something happens to the hockey rink um where all the ice melts or it gets flooded or something like that so now they have to share a rink um right before the hockey like games start and right before the figure skating competitions so um yeah I'm, I'm enjoying it so far also you're gonna be able to see all the books stack up right here so i apologize for that the next book i'm in the middle of is sun by low slowry i'm on page 135 this is the fourth and final book of the giver quartet and it follows it's almost like a prequel of the giver while also following um gabriel's mother if you've seen the giver or read the giver book gabriel is the baby that jonas ends up kidnapping essentially um also it's super windy outside and i'm literally next to the window because this is the only place i'm allowed to do it because this is my desk um it's also the only space with like room <clears throat> so yeah i love the giver quartet the first two books i read in one sitting the third book i read in about you know two days and this one i don't i'm having a little bit of trouble getting through it but it's also literally like three times the size of the first three books but i still really enjoy it the next book i have is lolita by vladimir Nabokov. i'm trying to get through my classics and i don't really know if people would consider lolita a classic but to me it is especially like with how like lolita culture has blown up um but essentially we're following um humberg humberg and his obsession with lolitas which is considered a prepubescent child um or a prepubescent girl most like notably um who is still very like childlike but is also like very aware of like sexuality and identity and just things like that so very innocent next i have illuminae by amy kaufman and jay kristoff i'm on page 139 um this is another book i read in one sitting despite it being absolutely massive um but i just loved the layout of it and i was so intrigued um but essentially we're following katie and ezra yeah katie and ezra um as their entire world's being blown apart by like a rival planet or like a rival country or just something like that and now they're living in space on like these like massive ships and everybody's supposed to be assigned a job and it's supposed to be useful obviously because you know literally 90 percent of their civilians just died um but they're also trying to figure out kind of what's going on with this ai system called aiden and um this like mystery illness that came about on one of the ships and so those are all the books i'm in the middle of so now i have six books that i would just like to read the first book i have is you'd be home now by kathleen glasgow my fiance actually got this for me and i actually know nothing about this book um but it's uh following i believe a woman who is grieving um or a girl who is grieving um and like there was like an accident is what i'm getting from the back of this next i have my dark vanessa by kate elizabeth russell I remember when this was super super big um but i believe this is about a teacher-student relationship i know that there's some very dark themes in this 
um, I kind of want to go into this blind. Um, really, the only thing I've looked up is like trigger warnings, and it really the most one, is the biggest one is like pedophilia, um, obviously. Um, so next, I have the Midnight Library by Matt Haig. If I, if my memory is correct, this is the one that everyone sees as like a memoir, or like that is a memoir that's told through like different like like different stories, I guess. Um, and I actually got this and a day later my mom got this so um, I'm hoping that I can just give her a heads up of what's in it because she takes super super long to pick up books unless it's a present. And the last three books I have are all Marie Lu books. I love Marie Lu. Favorite author. 10 out of 10. Um, so the first one I have is Kingdom of Back. This follows Mozart's little sister as she tries to navigate a world where she has to live up to her older brother, Mozart, obviously. Um, <clears throat> and I believe she ends up going into like another world or just something of that realm and she ends up being the famous sibling rather than Mozart. And the last two books I'm going to show together. So I have The Rose Society and The Midnight Star. These are the second and third books to the Elite trilogy. The Young Elites trilogy, um, or the first book, which is called The Young Elites, was one of my absolute favorite reads of last year, um, along with <sighs> Sky Hunter. Literally any Marie Lu book I read is going to be a 5 out of 5 stars, unless it's like super bad, which I haven't come across yet, so. Um, but basically we're following this girl, I've, I never know how to say her name, it's Adelina Evitru, something like that, um, but her main thing is she and a couple of other like people the young elites um got this disease where they were given superpowers and now they're being discriminated 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 against there we go um and they have to and the young elites are pretty much going against you know societal standards and trying to save all of these people i can't remember exactly what they were called um yeah, I don't think it says what these are called, um, but there's basically an inquisition, um, and, uh, Adelina, or Adel- Yeah, Adelina is trying to find, like, her purpose in the world, and it's a very- she's a very morally gray main character, and I feel like you don't see a lot of morally gray, like, female main characters, and you also don't see a lot of morally gray main characters, especially when it comes to like sci-fi books. I feel like everyone is the hero all of the time, um, but she's also, you know, trying to save her little sister who was taken and just all of these things. And um, yeah, I'm just very, very excited to get back into that world. Um, so yeah, those are all of the books that I brought with me. Um, if there are any books that you would like me to read or any of these that you would like me to do a more in-depth review on just let me know and um yeah that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed make sure to like comment subscribe down below on my social also be down below and i'll see you next time whenever that may be bye